party. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, I am extremely sore from yesterday's trip to the zoo. <sighs> that docent really had me going. Which I guess is good because I had done, you know, not so good this week that <laughs> I probably needed that little power, um, I was gonna say power walk, power um, hike that we're going up and down looking at, at animals, so. All right, it is Friday the 29th and it is weighing. And I'm not gonna lie to you and come on here and be like, I am so excited, it's weighing week like I typically do. I'm not, I'm not, why? Because I didn't do well this week. You know, I had a very stressful, as you guys can see, I didn't even put up a video, it's Friday. And I haven't put up a video all week and usually I do one or two and usually I'm excited about doing and it's like my stress relief and everything but I was just so over it. I've been so tired. I've been going to bed so early and just I'm over it. <sighs> now with that said, I'm gonna keep going. Um, whatever the outcome is, I kind of talked to myself last night and I said whatever the outcome is tomorrow, it is what it is. Yes, my biggest fear is that I gained all the weight back but um, even if that's the worst case scenario, um, I did start doing better towards the week, so I'm hoping that's not the case, but, um, if it is, it is what it is. You know, I'm just gonna keep going. I, I've gotta get through the hurdle of feeling disappointed and quitting, because that's what I've done before, and I've done so well, and week two of, like, really not doing baby steps like I used to before has been hard. Um, and school starts in one week, so I think that the stress levels always go up around this time for me. And I have to just get over it. I have to because this is my life every, I, I'm going to be in school for some time. I'm going to school to be a chemist. It's going to get more stressful, so I have to get through this. I don't really have a choice. So here it is. Enough talking, more weighing, whatever the outcome is, I have to keep going. And I may be disappointed, but it's gonna be for a short period, and I committed myself to do this, so I have to do this. I, I just, I don't have that option. Let me move this out of the way. I'm gonna open up my blind a little bit so I can get some more natural light. Here it goes. Weigh in, here's the camera. I'm sorry, this is the camera, the scale. And um, here goes nothing. So let me step on it. You guys know the drill. Okay. And I haven't. There it is. 345.2. Okay, so I actually didn't even gain a whole pound. Oh, that's not as bad. Obviously, <laughs> less pounds would have been better. But um, I probably, that hike probably really helped. No, I did start doing a little bit better towards the end of the week, but um, okay, I'm okay with that. 345.2 is where we're at for week two. It happens. I think that if I can get through these hurdles, um, my outcome in the next you know few weeks is probably gonna be better. I think that, man, week two really does live up to its standard. They always say it's the hardest one, and I believe it is. <laughs> Um, no, I think a lot of it had to just do with personal stuff that I'm, you know, with school and work and yada, 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 yada. So, um, that's not too bad. 340, I can handle that. I can handle that a lot more than I thought I could. <laughs> I was really nervous <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> um, I was dreading doing it, but I'm glad that I did it. And, um, we'll see what this weekend's hold, I think. I need to de-stress a little bit. I mean, I've just been really feeling really tired and... And I gotta regain some of that energy back and some of that momentum. So if you have any awesome inspirational quotes, send them my way. Um, and I will do my best to re-inspire um, those of you. We're still in it. We are still in it no matter what happens. I'll see you guys. Hey guys, I am gonna go get my nails done. I need some relaxation in my life. No, I really need to get my toes done. Um, but yesterday I forgot to mention that I also have the trundle day beds. So my son has 
his uh, bed frame in. So this weekend is going to be Mrs. Lolo the Builder again. Um, I cannot find my gun though to um, pew, pew, screw on things, my electric drill. What am I looking for? I always do this. I grab the camera and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to film and to tell them because I forgot and then I'll just get the stuff that I need. Um, I guess, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna double check that I had my debit card because I made a payment in the morning and uh, I took it out of my wallet. So, can't go, yeah, see? <sighs> and you guys are gonna laugh when I show you where it is. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, no. It was here. It was in the bathroom. I made it while I was using the restroom this morning. And now, <gasps> okay, I gotta look for it. This feels so good. What I got, I stopped by Sally's, which was like in the same shopping market as my nail place, and I stocked up on a restocked my L'Oreal. Come on, focus nature therapy mega moisture. I live by this. Live, I cannot. If I showed you my scalp right now, you guys would be like, That is disgusting. I ran out a few days ago, and I it's bad if I don't use it. Um, I have heard about Men and Tell for many, many years, and I've never actually tried it. So I bought this. They had to buy one, get one. So I was going to try the, sh the conditioner, but it, I don't know if, if anything will live up to this because I've tried so many things and it just doesn't. So I just decided, what the heck? I know that this is probably going to be good. So I just figured I might as well just get the two shampoos because I'd probably continue using it and then just continue buying this. I may try a small conditioner. I got a $5 coupon for my next purchase and they're about four something. So I can get it for free on my next purchase. Try it out, see if I like it. Because honestly, if, if I like the mane and tail conditioner as much as I like that, that's like $15 pretty much with tax and everything. I'd be saving a lot of money, um, but I use a very small amount. So I don't really know, you know, I kind of got to try it out. What up? Okay, I'm gonna go pick up the child. I have a gift card that they gave me um, for Christmas um, for Trader Joe's. So I am gonna go do some grocery shopping with that and get me some stuff for this weekend and this upcoming week so that I don't fall into that same scenario. After I got back from Sally's, I've had a pretty slow day. It was only like an hour or two ago. It was pretty late when I came back um, and I've been watching some of my, I did some picking up and I've been watching some of my um, like week one and week two and just kind of, you know, like I said, kind of gain that momentum back. So, so far I've had a good day and um, I did have Subway um, after I did my toes, yes, after I did uh, my pedicure um, and I just did a six inch and just with veggies and stuff like that. It was good just like if I were to make myself a sandwich at home and um, had uh, some popsicles for a snack I just had a handful of them some gluten-free like the stuff that I bought at Costco it was just easy to, to have so um, that's really why I want to go to Trader Joe's because Trader Joe's is really good at snacks um, and you know, again, that's not something I'm the greatest at, so I gotta find other ways and things like that, and like easy and fast. So um, that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna pick up Mr. CJ, and then we are on our way to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's was ridiculously busy. Like I was like, oh, you know, maybe I could vlog while I'm there, and you know, kind of see, go through, and make comments about. It. No. I forgot how small Trader Joe's is and I went in the evening and it's just <laughs> I like walking through aisles and reading stuff reading all the prices and comparing and 
That's what I like to do. You can't do that at Trader Joe's. Like, you gotta move quickly. People are bumping into you left and right. It was not a fun experience at all. But, nonetheless, I did get some stuff and I'm about to show y'all. When I came back home, I needed to get on a call quickly because I only had like five minutes before the call started. So, I ended up um, getting on that. And so now it's a little bit later, but I'm still gonna show y'all. Okay. So, I've taken out some stuff before I put it in the fridge. That's why I picked up the cam cam. So that's bag number one. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And I've got potatoes, I got some apples, tomato, avocado, banana, same old, same old. I got some jalapeno yogurt. I wanted to try this. Yogurt cheese sliced jalapeno. It's lactose free. I don't, I mean, I'm not allergic. Uh, I'm not lactose intolerant, but it just seems so delicious. And I even got some cookies. Yes, I did it. Um, they're more for Cyrus. And if I want to have a few, I could, technically. It says the serving size is, let's see if it focuses, 12 cookies. And it's only 150 calories. does have a little bit of sugar, but at the most, I plan on eating like three or four. Um, and they're tiny little cookies, so... There's that. I got some huevos, <laughs> some eggs. I got some meatless breakfast patties. They look yummy, so I grabbed them. Got some Z bars for Mr. CJ. I also got some romaine lettuce. Um, I saw some recipes on uh, so that I can go pro uh, not protein but carb free on some meals. I'm not gonna go carb free, no sugar, no carbs. But, you know, once in a while, I do crave stuff like that where it's like lettuce wraps or things like that. So, I decided to get it. I got some ham for my sandwiches. Um, this is really popular from Trader Joe's. I only got one bag, so Mandarin Orange Chicken. I don't know how to do it from scratch, so maybe I'll learn. And then I decided to try, which I don't think I've tried the barbecue chicken teriyaki. So these are just kind of like um, on those evenings where I don't feel like preparing something huge that I had this weekend. I told myself I'd rather prepare something like this and get a small bowl with just a little bit of rice and to do that. That'll probably be better than buying something out since that didn't work out for me last week. Got some yogurt and I got a few more things. I got a uh, burger... Chili lime chicken burgers, again, for those days where I'm just like, oh, I'm too tired during the week especially to get something. I did get some chicken for the weekend. I did have some, but I wanted to restock at least with one more pack. And I got some beef hot dogs. Um, yeah, uh, uncured beef hot dogs. So. Okay, so I'm going to put all this stuff away. Um, I'm really tired. I drank my shake. I might work out. I'm really tired, but I might work out. Um, I wanted to stay up a little bit later so that I could kind of fix my uh, sleeping um, pattern that I've been having these past few days. Is you know really stressed me out. Um, but at least I just did my protein powder, my protein shake, and feeling a lot better today um, uh, compared to these past few days. So that's a good start. And I'm not feeling like I need to binge eat or anything like that. So hopefully, um, not hopefully, <laughs> I will continue. And I might just end the vlog here because I really just want to relax for the rest of the night. I don't want to worry about editing anything. I just want to chill. So I will see you guys tomorrow maybe. If not, on my next video. Peace out. Home. Peace. Quits. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at I am Lolo. And don't forget to subscribe.